that the Russia solely lacks the firepower it needs for the war in Ukraine. Russian leader Vladimir Putin publicly admitted on Tuesday that his forces lack the ammo, drones, aircraft and communications equipments to further the Kremlin's war in Ukraine. During the special military operation, it became clear that many things were missing, he told state media at a press conference. These are high-precision ammunition, communications equipment, aircraft, drones and so on. We have them, unfortunately we lack them quantitatively, Putin added, per Russia news agency Defax. And that's even after Russia ramped up manufacturing of military equipment, according to figures cited by Putin. We had a 2.7-fold increase in production for the main types of weapon over the year and 10 times more for the demanded areas, Putin said per Interfax. It's the second time this week that Putin has also spoken of shortages in Russia's arsenal of ammunition. On Friday, he said in a statement on the Kremlin's website that its forces do not yet have enough modern arms for the war. On Friday, Putin also said that Moscow has also been working to fill the gap and that Russian military industries are intensively building up production of modern weapons. Putin's latest remarks stand in contrast to his comments last August when he boasted at a military forum that Russia's weapons are were cutting edge and decades ahead of their competition. Since August, he's made concessions that he wants Russia to improve its military industries. In November, however, Putin called for Russian military industry to up its game with weapons development while speaking of arising issues in the defense sector. Western experts and officials also say that Russia's supplies of advanced weaponry and equipment have been hit hard by the war in Ukraine. In April, however, several reports that said that Russia's losses had cut so deep into its inventory that it's been deploying early Soviet-era tanks, which were manufactured just after World War II. Russia's Ministry of Defense did not immediately respond to a request for comment from insiders sent outside regular business hours.